what, like a blind date? Yeah, yeah, I just... I just asked because I told Sally that I'd ask you, you know, what's my idea. I mean, when I was single, people always trying to match me up. Well, no, it's, that's no, you all right. Know who you, know. you don't have to say yes. It's her idea. Well, no, I think it's a hell of an idea. You do? And yeah. <laughs> who else am I going to meet? Marshals? Bandits? <laughs> Lawyers? So, uh, is this Christina? Is she a relative of your wife or a friend? No, 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 friend. She just a friend. Just a friend. Yeah. I first met William Mukono in 1980. He was in Afghanistan to train, but his notorious mind and ruthless character quickly led him to a leadership position. Is this from the tap? Could we get some bottled? You open Mukono. One club. Pass. One spit. Pass. One no trump. Pass. Two no trump. Pass. Three no trump. I'll be back. Don't forget, extra meat, no cheese. Mukono, I know. I know, huh? During the war, Mukono and his men would disguise themselves as UN peacekeeping forces. And the refugees, many of them women and children, would come out of the woods thinking they were safe. And they would line up to get on the bus, and Mukono would give his men the order to shoot. Sometimes he just did it himself. She's pretty, though, right? On a scale of one to ten, I don't know, three, six, nine? What are we talking about this another time? Oh, good personality, huh? What does she do for a living? She's a lobbyist up in the hill. Meet. Think we get along? I don't know, I don't know. I mean, you'll never really know who will get along with whom. No, you don't. This is not my idea. It's worth a shot, though, right? You got her number? No. Mukono's planning on blowing up the West African Center for Trade Relations within the next week. This is not someone you should have wandering around the streets. He was responsible for inventing the first incendiary dromedary. The what? He wired a car bomb to a camel. Let's go. Let's move it. Go, 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 go. Behind me. U.S. Marshal Service, open up! U.S. Marshal The Marshall, brought to you by the new Dodge. We're thinking ahead. Hey, here's your stuff. Mm, mm. This is the hardest part about being protected by you guys. You have to live away from home for so long. Yeah, you get used to it. Most people do. Besides, it's only been five days. Love story. Want to watch it with me? Ali McGraw. I got paperwork to do. Shouldn't you be preparing for your uh, testimony tomorrow? Fremont says if I rehearse too much, it sounds stale. I have to make just the right number of mistakes and pauses. That's how I build my credibility. Fine art of the government informant. 
not informant, patriot. America is a wonderful country, Mr. Tucker. I don't want to see innocent people hurt. One has a moral obligation to obstruct evil when one knows it is going to occur. Of course, the 50,000 the U.S. attorney gives you for each case doesn't hurt. Of course not. A lobbyist. The Hill's a lot of fun. You must get to meet a lot of uh, interesting people. It's open. Huh? Nah. Well, actually, we do things like uh, chase federal fugitives, uh, protect witnesses, judges. Yeah, and escort nuclear missiles. That's sort of thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Nah. Nah. <laughs> well, somebody's got to do it. I'm sorry, Mr. Tucker, Jonathan, but I have to go. Jonathan, hello? Are you all right? The whole case against Makono falls apart without him. We have nothing, nothing without Akbar. We did kill him. I'm going to kill Tucker. I mean, it's a simple job, a simple protective duty, and he can't even do it. No, Miss Fremont, someone who got to your snitch last night convinced him not to testify. I think we should concentrate on that and forget about Tucker right Here's now. Here's the phone toll record, Winston. Hello, Susie. Deputy Tucker. Uh, 16 phone calls to his girlfriend of Banoush, mm -hmm. and uh, four to his uh, shrink, Dr. Gullersoy. Uh, four to his shrink? Yeah, they all cleared. What's this 20-minute call? Uh, that was mine. Personal. Oh, a 20-minute personal Fremont, call. Uh, we're gonna need a search warrant for uh, Banoush. That's just great. 20 minutes. That's absolutely like, fantastic. My whole case line. is going south, Actually, and you're calling some... Personal. What person. is personal, personal about it? I'm You're sorry. It's supposed to be on my first break detail, in over five Tucker. days of custody. Not sitting here, here chatting on the phone at your leisure for 20 minutes. Oh, that's four. just fine. Well, I hope 16. this person was worth it. They were. Can you get him off this case? Now, I know you guys used to date. And... So, you think every person of Middle Eastern descent is a terrorist, Marshal? No, no. I, it's just that you've talked to Akbar four times since he's been in protective custody. I was just... I'm third-generation Turkish-American. I've actually never even been to the Middle East. Doctor, I'm not investigating you. I just want to know where your patient is. You realize, of course, that because of doctor-patient confidentiality, there's very little I can divulge about Akbar's individual group or couples therapy. That's a lot of therapy. Marshal, put the gun down. Right, and why are you trying to steal the television set? I'm gonna stand up slowly and show you my badge. Don't move. I am not afraid to shoot. I have a, a gun. I have a gun. So do I. Uh, now you have two. 
I don't have to testify. I know my rights. What happened to moral obligations? Nothing. I just got more of them all of a sudden. I just changed my mind. Maybe somebody helped you change your mind. Think what you like. It's a free country. You know, Akbar, in my experience with protective custody, when a witness decides to change his mind and not testify, it's usually not because he's been threatened, but because somebody he cares for has been threatened. Love story. Hey. Love story? Yeah. I love that movie. I own that movie. Please. Aren't you a good Catholic girl? See? Well, it's just a movie. Girl. This movie makes me cry. Good, right? Hello, Akbar. How are you, eh? Akbar, I will make this very simple. Hmm? And I will say it in plain American so that you can easily understand. If you testify against Mukono, you will never see your beautiful girlfriend alive again, eh? He really means it, Akbar. Akbar, I will call you. At the phone booth on the corner of Constitution in 22nd on Wednesday at 4 p.m. with further instructions. And Akbar, remember, love means never having to testify, not against your friends. Gulegule <laughs> Akbar. No. No one can help me. Not Fremont and not you. Farouk is ruthless. He he'll kill Benush if anyone comes near him. He said he was your friend. Not anymore. He and Mukono work together. I don't have any friends. No. The only way to save Benush is to stop talking. Maybe he'll kill Benush anyway. Don't, don't say that! I am not talking. Mm. Akbar, I want to help you. Help me find Benush so I can make her safe. If I don't, you talk to Fremont. Call the whole thing off. I'm asking you to trust me. You know, Winston, Dr. Goliath Soy says that trust is one of my major issues, and it all goes back to my childhood. You know, I was the fifth of five. What do you got? Oh, an ulcer, I think. The personal call. Susie's gonna bury me. I mean, on the cassette. Uh, four identifiable sets of prints. Mine, yours, Akbar's, and a few fingers belonging to a Thomas Riley. Riley? Yeah, now he's got some interesting digits. My check seems to have triggered a phone call from the State Department. He's some sort of favored foreign national. Akbar? Do you know someone named Riley? No, no, I don't. Well, it says here all inquiries should be made through the CIA. William McConaughey, huh? I tell you, I was in Kabul when that camel full <laughs> camel guts everywhere. Four staffers from the embassy were killed instantly. Now, the hump itself wound up 100 meters down the road, crashed through the windshield of a Mercedes 600. Oh, what about Riley? There's not much to tell. Company freelancer, time to time. Fairly expensive, fairly reliable. Camel bombs, though, you know? I mean, that is the end of the world, isn't it? Uh, you got a line on Riley? Yeah, here we go. Everything you need to know. Address, picture, resume. Don't look so shocked, Winston. After all, we are on the same side. What about his favorite foreign national status? How many miles of red tape you put in between us this time? Go and see him. Use my name. Riley likes to shoot the breeze. OK, thanks. Oh, now, if you want, I can have that phone booth on Constitution forwarded to ring at a location of your choosing. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. I just mentioned your name. I'll be all right. That's the magic word. Thanks. Akbar? Hey, wait a minute. What, Akbar's going with you? Yeah, I'll bring him back. He'll be all right. Talking, my bride. Bring him back talking. You all right? I, I get car sick easily. Even when you drive? I don't know. I never learned. You mean they didn't teach you how to drive a terrorist camp? It was more like a trade school, really. That's good to know. That's where I met Mukono. He was terrific at bridge. Cards are blowing them up. Boat.
out. What? What? No, 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 no. Shoot him. You didn't say that it was going to be shoot. Shut up, shut up. Ow, 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 ow. No, 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 no. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. You all right? Yes. It's all right, it's all right. Yo, this is Deputy Marshal Winston McBride. I need assistance. Shots have been fired. You didn't say there was going to be shooting, McBride. They'll be here in about seven minutes. OK, seven minutes. clocked in at over 400 grads. You must have glowed in the dark. And this must be the C. Wayne connection. Possible. The, the what? The C. C. what? C. Wayne. C. Wayne? What's that? About a month ago, a couple of buttons of weapons grade plutonium were discovered missing from the C. Wayne nuclear missile disarmament facility in New Mexico. You said it worked for you. I didn't say exclusively. Listen, McBride, if I had even the slightest hint that Riley had done the C. Wayne job, I would have sent my special task force in. Now you know that. I didn't even know they knew each other. Of course they knew each other. He knows Riley worked for Farouk. What, did you guys share a cabin in a terrorist camp? Well, he was a transportation specialist. He brought things from here to there, there to here. Including plutonium. I didn't know about that. I knew he was a terrorist, and you didn't tell me. I couldn't risk you. you. wouldn't help me find Belouche. All I did was ask you to trust me. Right? Just trust me. All right, we're up. I'm sorry. McBride, come back. I'm sorry. It's an issue for me, all right? Look, no more lies, I promise. You were saving Farouk and Riley for your next big deal, weren't you? That's what you were doing. Did you meet them in Afghanistan, too? Well, as a matter of fact. Unbelievable. Finishing school for terrorists. Everyone was there. <laughs> well, everyone's here now. Someone must be organizing a camp reunion. Well, what you do is you tell Farouk you want to arrange a trade. You for Banoush. That's your plan? Yeah. No, it's crazy. I'm not going with Farouk. He'll kill me. Oh, fine. You want to get her back yourself, go ahead. I got plenty of other work to do. Oh, like matching up a friend of your wife's with a fellow marshal? Huh? You know that can only mean trouble, big trouble. Hey, they might get along. Well, you never know, but I do know that whoever is in the middle is going to get it from both sides. And that, sir, is you. Trust me on this, Winston. Hello? Farouk, yes, listen, I just came from the U.S. Attorney's office. I told her I wasn't going to testify. No deal, no way. Listen, Farouk, uh, I have an idea. Suppose we arrange a trade. Me for Benush. Yes. Yes. Look, Farouk is not going to bring Benoush. He's going to send someone to kill him. When he does, stop, we'll stop, find stop. out where Benoush is. Uh. Oh. I think I need one of those little pills Dr. Gularsoy prescribed for me. You all right? Uh. Uh. Right. Tucker. Tucker? What is he doing here? Yeah, what are you doing here? I requested an expert marksman. The official word is I was next on the assignment roster. But I think Fremont's mad at me for breaking up with her and mad at you for giving me Christina's number. See? You see? I it's told right. you it's something right. like this was going to happen. Relax. Why should I be in the middle of this? You know, in Turkey, hey, she would have just killed up, you both. It was much simpler. Can you shoot? Pretty good. Give me the radio. Come on. 
What? What are we doing? Where are we going? We need to lure the wolf out of the woods. The wolf? Yeah, sometimes when ranchers want to lure a wolf out of the woods, they tether or go to a stake. And when the wolf comes out of the woods, they shoot him. Now, I don't advocate shooting the wolf, per se, but it's a very effective technique. I am the goat? Yes, you're the goat. Well, sometimes the wolf gets the goat. That's why Tucker's here. He's the goat's best friend. Yeah, but the wolf can get him, too. Only in extreme circumstances. This is extreme! Come on, no, you'll be fine. Right. Listen, you'll be fine. No, this is not gonna work. McBride! McBride, this is not going to work! Listen, we can think of another plan! McBride! My dad has been... Marsha will continue in a moment here on ABC. never see my Benush again. Now I'm thinking she will never see me again. Think about happy things. Do you realize we are both here because of women? I can't find a way. I can't find a way. When I'm thinking of you late at night when you're not here Going to die without ever seeing my beautiful Benush again. I could take a chance on loving you. Find a way this me here today. I can't find a way you with me here today. Why did my life turn out like this? Sven anymore is Carl. I'm still Akbar. Is there anybody you don't know? Well, I know a lot of people, but this one I thought was my friend. Uh, Carl, you know such. No, what about friend. that time in Kabul oh, when you were so hey, sick? You hey, 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 knock it off! All right, here's the plan. It's very simple. The first part of the plan is you tell me where Farouk is. Yeah, if I do that, Farouk will kill me. Well, that's why the second part's so good, because after the first part's over, the second part is I arrest you and I keep you alive. Uh, I don't understand. What if he doesn't do the first part? Well, then I void the second part, and I put a picture in the newspaper tomorrow, you and your buddy here with matching sweaters and caption that says key government witnesses agree to testify against Farouk. Is that Carl with a K? You don't want backup? No, I don't want to waste their time twice in one day. You're putting yourself way in the middle here, Winston. Yes, I am. You want me to come with you? No, you got to turn the cowboy in. Call Miss Fremont. I don't want to see that woman. She can have a snit fit when she sees me. She's a professional. She won't let her personal life get in the way of her work. You'll be all right. You don't know her like I do. No, I don't. How much further? 
Nothing. I'm going to be sick. You'll be all right. You're just stressed. Listen. What? You have to rescue her first, before the strike force comes. Promise me. I can't promise you that. Why not? I can't. I'll pay you. Pay me? Yes. What? I'll pay you money. How much? As much as you want. How much you got? I, I have enough. I don't want any money. What else you got? What? What else you got? Besides money? Yeah. What? I have an idea. I'll tell you everything I know about Farouk, Mukono, Sven. Riley. Riley. Everyone. Everyone I was going to get Fremont to pay me for. Everything? Yes, everything. If you get Benush first. Start talking. You you have this plan. You would have made a good terrorist. So you let them go just like that. He is a senior marshal. Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Sven is not Akbar. Sven's not even Sven. Sven will never be Akbar. Sven is just a professional hitman. It's Carl. Carl with a C. Perhaps I can get him to trade out some information on Farouk. But Sven doesn't know one millionth of what Akbar knew. Sven is just cubic zirconium. Akbar is a grade D, internally flawless, two-carat pear-shaped diamond with two emerald baguettes set in platinum. What are we talking about? Never mind. Listen. Thanks for not saying anything about the phone call. You know, the personal call. You're welcome. Please leave. I can't. Now. Please leave now. I can't. Go away. I can't. I'm stuck. House? You ever been here before? No. Never? No, no, never. Honest. I think I see Benush. Where? Where? <gasps> oh, my beautiful Benush. Oh. <laughs> There's Farouk. Who's Javier? Yes, it's Javier, all Another right. friend of yours? No, not a friend. Another mule like Riley. He's such a show-off. It's probably not even his helicopter. There's only one reason he'd need another mule. Uh, it's about time you got here, Javier. Hey. I was worried about you. No es tan fácil. Con la cantidad de aviones que tenemos por acá. Bueno, ¿qué tenemos esta vez? Esta vez? Esta vez, cinco kilos de material atómico. It's here? The plutonium? It's here? Under my venouche? Yep. Sir, John, make sure it doesn't leave. No, 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 no. We need... Hold on. We need special suits and, and, and breathing apparatus and, and lead-filled suits with protective gear. What are you doing? Telephone repairman. What? Telephone repairman. You... You don't honestly think that Farouk is going to believe you're a telephone repairman. Why not? I got ID. He's never seen me before. Look. He's too smart for this. Don't you understand? He's going to see right through this. It works all the time. ¿Es seguro esto? Of course it's safe. Javier, if it wasn't safe, do you think I'd be here with it, huh? Javier, 
As long as you don't breach the container, you'll be fine, okay? Oh, my poor Benu, my beautiful Benu. All she wanted was to have my Akba, baby. Akba, listen to me. Just keep trying to get through the marshal service, all right? When you get through, tell them where we are, tell them about the plutonium, and tell them we need backup and a hazardous material squad. Backup and hazardous material right. squad. And tell them about the plutonium. Plutonium? Yes. Here, keep trying, all right? Don't stay too long. I'll be all right. Javier, we had an agreement, right? Huh? And now you're telling me you want 10,000 more? Mm-hmm. You disappoint me, Javier. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's Peraki. It's Peraki. Who is that? Phone company. Doing some work on the lines. The circuits got jammed. I need to check your jacks. That's why my computer died, huh? Yeah. Come in, come in. Yeah. Just a rest stop on the superhighway. <laughs> no big deal. I'll have it fixed for you in about an hour. Deregulation. Big mistake. Big mistake. Hi. Right. Let's see. Where are those jacks? Okay. Hey, bud. Venga conmigo. Yeah, where are those jacks? Deal here. Government pension not enough, or you just get tired of being one of the good guys. Yeah, good guys, huh? That's what I love about the marshal service. Good guys. Like we're playing cops and robbers in the old neighborhood, huh? Well, what are we playing for? Doesn't matter. I'm just a facilitator. I make sure the game continues. Oh, so you're impartial. Without them, there's no us, right? Well, who funds you? Self-funding. Profitable, in fact. See, McBride, nobody wants this stuff. As I see it, I'm doing the country a favor. Found a conduit for recycling unwanted refuse. Uh, and nobody asks any questions. Nobody knows. As long as the game continues, right? Hey, Farouk, get Banoosh, have her watch the marshal. We're gonna make some decisions. Usted, Javier? Sí. Sí. Um, ¿Usted habla inglés? No. No. Soy un agente federal. Um, Javier, uh, suelte mí, por favor. No, Javier, Javier. Now, he starts to make noise. Call us. He tries to escape, shoot him. Aim for the body so you can't miss, but whatever you do, don't kill him. You all right? Fine. Where's Javier? He left. What? He left. Oh, no! Oh, no! No, no! Hey, 
Neyap Maklazi. Neyap Maklazi. Oh. 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 That unscrupulous crook, how can he do this to me? In fact, you know, now it's going to take me months before I can find another carrier. Listen to me. Listen to me. We need to kill the marshal now and run, huh? It'll be days before they find the body, and we'll be out of the country by then. There's probably 50 feds out there right now, hiding in bushes surrounding the house. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, Fett, if they're out there, then why did they let Javier leave, huh? Because we're still in here with the marshal and the nuclear jam. I don't like it much either, but we got to keep them alive as trade bait, OK? Come on. But, but Fett, don't question me. You thought he was a telephone repairman. In summer camp, it's the real thing. You guys are pathetic. Let's see four in a civilian bus. You run to the next country before it goes off. Wow. You call yourself terrorists? You never put yourself out on the line. Yeah, well, welcome to the big leagues. Akbar sacrificed everything to save you. Rest what? His fees? The men in forms on his friends. Former friends. They're terrorists. They believe in something more important than the American dollar. Plutonium? Farouk is buying plutonium. The only reason you buy plutonium is if you have genocide on your current agenda. He has faith in himself, in God and our love. And what about Fett? Now, that's a spiritual guy. Everything is all right? I do not like this man. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Take care of her. What did you say to her, Winston? The truth. You relax, Fett. Nothing's gonna happen for a couple hours. You still have time to dictate your memoirs. Don't talk to me. You know, usually in situations like this, special operations, they don't do anything until dawn. Maybe I should let Farouk kill you. We can make a run for it. Maybe you ought to turn the two of them in and you can pretend you're a hero. What about you? I'd have to kill you. Maybe that's a bad idea. Brooke! Banoush! It is a catastrophe. We shouldn't be in this mess. Oh, calm down, my love. Everything will be all right. The marshal is the devil with the badge. He interferes with everything. We should kill him. We should kill him and run. I think you need something to eat, huh? Let me make you a salad. If the feds were coming, they'd be here by now. No, 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 no. They're waiting for dark. There's nobody out there. I came in alone. I came in alone to take Banush out alone for Akbar. No! What? What am I hearing? What? He's lying! He's not telling the truth! Don't believe him! Shut up! Shut up! Akbar loves you. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! By the way, did Fett tell you that plutonium is leaking? Farouk, what is he saying? 
don't believe him. He's lying. I saw Riley. He looked terrible. You don't plan on having children, do you? Farouk! Shut up! Shut up! I don't want to hear any more about it. Enough! Shut up! Shut up! Riley died of radiation poisoning. It's nonsense. The marshal killed him. How do you know? Look, Farouk, you know Riley. He was like a kid at Christmas. He did have radiation poison because he couldn't resist opening the damn thing up. Now, I checked the container. It's fine. Do we look like we have radiation poisoning? It's only dangerous if you breathe it in or if it gets on your skin. Come on, we're fine. And I'm telling you, our only chance is to kill him and run. Now! Farouk! You think there are no marshals out there? Huh? Go ahead. Take a walk. Prove me wrong. Come on, check out the property. Better yet, why don't you just take the car for a spin? See how long they let you live. Farouk, what is going on in that little brain of yours? Now, I told you not to talk to the marshal. He's just playing with your head. Yeah. Well, then you call your people to get us out of here, then, huh? You're doing this. You're doing this to them, right? You call your people. I can't just call my people. You know that. It's got to be organic. They can't expose themselves. All right? Once they see a situation's going down, they'll be here. That's how it works. And then what? What are we supposed to do? Expose ourselves the to The container is not leaking, Banouche. Wait a minute, Fet, Fet. You said a situation, right? Your people need a situation, right? What if there is no situation? What if the marshals are not even out there, huh? Then you know what we're doing? Then we are all sitting here and waiting for nothing! All right, okay. All right. The marshals won't come, we'll make them come. Hey, Winston, what's your Washington direct dial number? Hmm? Banouche, go in the kitchen, call the marshals. C come on, come on. Look in the phone book under US government. Uh, law enforcement agencies. Is it under US, United States, or federal? I can't find it. Just call 411, information 411. Farouk, when my guys show up, Banouche is going to go to jail. Winston, please, OK? Please, you're not helping. The phone is not working. Then use the cell phone. That's it. I've had enough. I've had enough. Benoosh and I are leaving. Benoosh, come on, let's go. Oh, Farouk, listen to me. If you go out that door, man, they're going to grab the both of you. I will not be able to help you. Oh, yeah? We'll take our chances. Benoosh, come on! What if they make a deal with the feds and say it was all your idea? You're right. Farouk. is marked with love. Benouche! Please, put Benouche. me in the car and take me to your jail. I think you should tell him. Thanks, my great. Ah, uh, Benouche. Oh, it doesn't matter. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, that's what my mother always told me. Mm. Jonathan was nice, but it was just one date. 
No, I'm, I'm not bummed about it. Really. You know, and you never know. I mean, the old girlfriend, it might not work out, right? <laughs> no, uh, they broke up once, right? So obviously, they have problems. You know, um, if they break up, he still has my number. You know, it'll probably still be the same. I mean, you know, I'll probably still be single. He was great, though. We had a lot in common. But, you know, if I had a lot in common with one guy, I probably could with another, right? So that's good. You know, Winston knows a lot of other single guys. Oh, really? Sally! Yes, hon? Can you come here for a second? I'll be right back. <laughs> Next on The Marshal. I hate hackers. Then the managers know it. Let's kick them out. They're looking for a trapdoor. We've been hit by Rafaela. It's a blackmail demand. She's stealing 20 years of my life! Where can we find Rafaela? Her real self, I can't tell you. But her cyber self, that I can tell you. It's just, it's a dove. Rafael's signature. He's the man, Winston, and Rafaela is his worst nightmare. A hacker, one of the best, and dedicated. Come closer, Marshal. We want you near us when we leave this place. <laughs> Thursday, when eyewitnesses become targets of the mob. You for the kid. We'll make the swap tonight. Charlie's the only one who can help. I'm gonna nail him. On an all-new Charlie Grace. Then. Couple of heroes. <laughs> ambition. This will push my career ahead 10 years. Lost. You have my number. Betrayal. Why didn't you tell me you were involved with organized crime? Revenge. The Monroe's Thursday on ABC. 